Hello, I'm Russ Rogers and thanks for tuning in today. This video will discuss and demonstrate a couple of ways to get your bass in tune before you play. Being able to quickly tune your instrument is a very important part of preparing for any practice or performance situation in which you will be playing a, with a pre-recorded track or other musicians. Remember all you lefties out there, just mirror image what you see in this video. Okay, get your bass ready and let's get started. The easiest way to tune is using an electronic tuner. It is also better to use one when performing live as most people waiting to listen to a band do not want to listen to a lot of loud guitars and basses being tuned. Let's take a look at how the right hand should work when using a tuner. Okay, now I'd like to uh, go over using a tuner when you're tuning up your bass. The first thing that you've got to pay attention to is not uh, letting the strings that you're not tuning ring while you're trying to tune another string. So if I were tuning the G string, then I would want to place fingers over the E, A, and D strings to keep them quiet while I'm tuning. All right, once those strings are secure, then I pick the G string, I look at the tuner, and if it were too low, it would look like that. If it were too high, it would look like that. Generally, you want your, tune, your tuning needle to be dead center with both those lights coming on. And it's good to take your finger off the tuning peg when you're doing, doing the final check just to make sure it's okay because once you're touching that little bit of the neck, you can put a little bit of tension on it and move that needle a little bit. All right, then when I go to the D string, I, I put uh, my fingers on the G, A, and E and then pick the D string and check it. Just a hair low, bring it up. There we go. All right, now when tuning the A string, I touch the G, D, and E with fingers of the right hand, then pick the A string. Check it there. Sometimes the strings, as you see, can get a little funny and they'll send the needle jumping around a little bit, but go. Then when I get the, go to tune the E string, I keep the A, D, and G quiet. And maybe do that with the first, third, and uh, first, second, and third fingers of the right hand, then maybe pick it with the thumb. Then tune, tune the key until it's dead center. And there we got it with the tuner. Next we'll look at using an open string tuning using harmonics. Remember to use your right hand muting to keep the strings you are not tuning from making sound. All right, now I'd like to show you a different way of tuning if you do not have a tuner uh, using harmonics on the bass. The first thing you're going to have to do, however, is you're going to have to get one of your strings in tune with another instrument. And once that's done, then you can tune the rest of the strings of your bass to that string that is now in tune. So let's say we get our G in tune with the instrument we're playing with. All right, you would have them play a G and then you would match that. All right, now once the G is in tune, then I want to tune the uh, D and G, the D string to the G string. Now using harmonics, you want to lightly touch the string and when you hit, the, don't press down like you're fretting a note, but just lightly touch it where the harmonic exists and I'll show you that in a moment. And then as soon as you hit that, Get your finger off the string so it'll ring. All right, the harmonics that we'll want to use for this are uh, on the G string, it will be the seventh fret directly over the seventh fret, and then on the D string directly over the fifth fret. So I will hit the G string harmonic note, which is a D, and then I hit the D string harmonic note of the fifth fret, which is also a D, and if they sound the same, then we're okay, it'll be in tune. Now you will hear waves and, of, of sound if it's out of tune. That's an example of it being out of tune. As I tighten it up, you hear those waves get slower. When the waves go away, you're in tune. All right, now when I go to the A string, I put my, to tune the A string, I put my uh, finger directly over the seventh fret of the D string, 
and play that harmonic, and then the first finger over the fifth fret of the A string to play that harmonic. And listen for the waves. When they go away, you're in tune. To tune the E string, I put my third finger over the seventh fret of the A string to play that harmonic, and then the first finger over the fifth fret of the E string. Listen for the waves. As they go away, then you're in tune. I hope this lesson was helpful for you, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. This is Russ Rogers, tuning out.